Hello? Hey, good morning, Nicole. Yeah, where you at? Oh, where are you going? Um, I'm going to your house. You going to my? Can you, before you come to my house, can you go like stop at mm -hmm. like Durant or something? Cause I'm in um, I'm about to go to San Francisco. Can you stop in Durant or something? And can you give me like a black long sleeve for mask? Good. It's Amari Milstead. You watching? We've been out here, episode four. About to go pick up tone. You know, senior year's coming, so we want to show you what we've been doing in the gym. About to go to San Francisco, get this weight in. Let's go. Um, I've been playing basketball since I was four years old. My dad put the basketball in my hands in a very early age. I wasn't that good when I was younger, but I constantly kept getting better every year. I constantly kept adding more tools to my toolbox. When I was a, when I was um, an eighth grader, you know, I had the decision of going to high school, high school I wanted to go to. My dad was coaching at Moreau Catholic at the time, but he let me choose between the schools I wanted to go to. I wanted to go to Moreau Catholic because I really seen a vision. Coach Knight, he was a great coach, and I knew he was a great coach from his Fremont days, and he was really building something at Moreau. At the previous class, he had Oscar, Armand, and Brandon. They was really making noise their freshman year. Um, just like Moreau, I seen the same thing with GCU. It's a very up-and-coming program, and it has the talent right now to be good, but I feel like if I go there to GCU, I can make it to the, to the place that everybody wants us to go, and that's to make a tournament. Next year will be our first year to be tournament eligible, and I feel like if we have the pieces that we have right now, it will add me next year, we can really create something special and be one of the first teams to make the tournament on their first year of eligibility. Um, Coach Marley, he really sold me on the vision of them being a top 25 program. And I feel like with his guidance, I feel like we could get there very soon. So that was one of the main reasons why I chose GCU. We here at Lake Merritt Station, We're about to go get this work in in San Francisco. You know, the bar traffic be crazy in, um, in the Bay, so you know, I usually bar here, it's easier. Um, I, we're about to go to Accelerated Sports Performance. Paris Austin, you know, when I was um, a junior, he told me about this place. I came here this senior year, because I felt like I needed to get stronger for next year. So I just, I've been here for three months, you know, it's good work. I'm ready to get this work in. I forgot to shut the window. <laughs> I don't want to get my car taken or nothing. Uh, we just got an Uber. It's probably like a 10 minute drive. Um, you know, people say San Francisco's far, but I think, you know, this place it's a sports medicine place, so other than the strength and conditioning, it also gives you like rehab and uh, injury prevention exercises. Like, like you go see, you know, we go stretch for about 30 minutes before we get there, and before we start lifting. And um, probably they go probably stretch me out, probably do some massage. And today, um, we'll probably do some lower body today. Probably run a little bit. You know, I'm not too much. You know, this is my last week here, so you know, we go finish strong. Official practice start next week, so you know I won't be able to come here um, when practice starts. This is so far, so you know I'm just excited to get to this week, and, um, get get it done. I got a cameraman with me today. Oh, okay. he's following a day in the life for me. All right. So you just want to right on. <laughs> <laughs> How's your weekend? Good. Good. Yes, bro. All right, let me get back to you. All right, just hit me. All right. So we're at Accelerate Sports Performance in San Francisco, North Beach area. Um, my name is Jared, I'm one of the strength coaches here. And we've been working with Damari probably um, this last couple off seasons, uh, just working on a lot of uh, mechanics of movement, overall strength, uh, and mobility. And he's been, he's been great, been dedicated, coming in regularly uh, three to four times a week. And he's just a lot of fun to work with. 
So here at Accelerated Sports Performance, um, all our workouts are on our phones. So we just um, we just click on a program today. You know, um, I have a three day work I have a three day workout because I come here three days a week. We click on a program and we get to our slate. Our slate is basically our agility, and um, it gives you um, it gives you what we're doing, how many reps, how many sets, and it also gives you an example of what we're doing also. And here's the notes for um, if, 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 our, if my trainer have any notes. This is notes that we do. So we're gonna start off with the slate. So they can be five and I win. Yeah. One of the big benefits of working out here is we develop everyone's program, every player's program uh, based on their individual needs, uh, limitations, uh, limitation based on dysfunction and mobility. And we work that in while still training aggressively. So we're still doing uh, lots of plyometrics, strength training, uh, but also keying in on, on their weaknesses and making sure that they're getting better at their weaknesses. So if you look into the video, she's on top of the box. And she's going to come into a single leg squat. Hold on. Right, she can go all the way down. Well, Damari's, uh, you know, she's transitioning between his freshman, sophomore, and junior. Now, senior year, he's getting better every single year. Um, he came in as a, a skinny freshman uh, who basically deferred to, you know, Oscar Freyer and Terrell Brown and Brandon Lawrence. And over his maturation, over the next two or three years, you saw him become a player. Um, one year, he wasn't a very good three-point shooter. The next year, he came back and improved that. And then he was got stronger the next year and he got in the weight room. So every time we tell him he needs to work on something, <clears throat> excuse me, every time we tell him he needs to work on something, he goes into the lab and, and he gets better. Damari's legacy is, like I said, is still in front of us, but uh, I think he's won, what, 20, he won 29 and then 25 and then last year 27 games in three years. Um, is going to put him right up there as one of the winningest players to play here. Uh, definitely in terms of um, change championships and league championships and section championships he will he will definitely leave his mark here and, and that's what we talk about all the time what is your legacy going to be at the end of the day when you're done uh, when you come back 20 and 30 years from now to your reunions what will people say about you you know um, and I think it'll be all positive about him and how he was very very instrumental in, in, in changing the Moreau basketball and we just got out the waiting room about to go um, get this workout in Will Power you know, get this nice hour and a half of work. Um, you know, it's the grind. Usually, we, we, we get like three hours in of work and then we go go home and relax, do some homework. Right now, I gotta get this work in though. We've been out here. Well, my name is Will Power. Um, I've been training for about, about five years now. Um, I've been working with Damari for about, about a month and a half, to two months, uh, maybe twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays here down at Jamtown. And uh, really here at Willpower, man, we just try to focus on the grind, his drive. You know, of course his name Willpower for a reason, because you need that to get through anything in life. But, uh, you know, we just been focusing on his overall game, you know, him trying to transition from being a scorer right now to trying to add the dimension of him actually being able to run a team and get, uh, get his college and his sets. Uh, we work on a lot of different pick and roll options, uh, his IQ, asking him questions, making him think about what he's doing and actually focusing on his offhand, you know, using that left hand for more than one or two dribbles. So uh, those are some of the things that we work on with, you know, Damari. On that way first. One dribble, pull up. One dribble, too much, right? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Ha. Come on, don't worry. Recently started working with Will probably about three months ago. He's been getting me ready for my senior year. Um, he's a great trainer. His, his, his main thing is precision, less moves, less movement. 
Um, I think he's going to make me get ready for the college level and help me have a great senior year. So I'm really looking forward to working with him. And it's been a blessing. I'm definitely not in shape. I'm in tip top shape. I'm in tip top shape. Yeah. I mean, I made 55, 60, so I'm in tip top shape. And I said it's the best shape you've been in. Oh, oh, oh. What makes you think that? I was the only. Huh? I was the only person. Yeah, I do. I was the only person to finish the run we did. Tip top shape. Tip top. You should get tired out here the I mean, game time shape, though. You don't go full speed in the game, you, you take your breaks in the game. No, you take breaks in the game. In college, you don't take breaks. You do. Oh, you don't. She does take breaks. You, you, you guys, you get fouls, you get a lot of things. Okay, okay, I got you. Is that hard? Well, his footwork has improved uh, tremendously. Uh, we've been adding a jump rope every day on Tuesdays and Thursdays, giving him different uh, variations off of the footwork uh, with the jump rope. Um, his strength is that he's, you know, he's crafty and he's a bona fide scorer. You know, it's proven. You know, even from when he was a freshman in high school to now, you know, he's he can score. Um, today a workout today with Will was, you know, it was high intensity. All the workout was really high intensity. Um, he focused on your weaknesses and he improved his strength as well. Um, we did a lot of um, pick and roll reads. We did a lot of um, entry passes, things that helped me to become a point guard at the next level. That's basically what we focus at. We focus on point guard play and things like that. Um, Will, he has been great, you know, these, these past couple months in the fall. You know, I've been here three, four times a week. Um, he really been pushing me, you know, getting ready for this senior year. He really, um, I'm with him, he with me, and um, I'm just looking forward to the senior year.